Hello there, so it's Monday morning, the 2nd of November, and I thought I would have a look at some of the headlines doing the rounds this morning. Uh, I've posted up some pictures in the background here from some screen grabs that I've managed to get. Um, so, the papers are all full of lockdown, of course. I mean, as you'll all be aware, we're heading back into a lockdown on this coming Thursday. It's not quite as severe, uh, severe as last time, but uh, it's still not good. Um, but worryingly, most of the newspapers, which, I mean, I know you have to take with a pinch of salt, uh, just like you have to take me with a pinch of salt, I guess, because I'm just some guy on YouTube. Um, you should go out and look things up for yourself. But these uh, newspapers are all full of um, extended lockdowns coming, extended lockdown warnings, um, lockdown Christmas fear. So there's talk of this lockdown extending on until Christmas. Um which I mean, obviously nobody wants, surely, except the government, it seems. It's a bit bizarre, but uh, it's worrying as well because, obviously, I mean, who wants a lockdown? Nobody surely wants a lockdown. Lockdowns have been proven not to work by various organisations. Um, I mean, we're setting out to ruin people's livelihoods. We're setting out to ruin the economy, with, uh, all for the sake of curbing a virus which really doesn't affect the majority of the population too badly um the majority of deaths are in people over 80 which i mean all deaths are sad of course don't get us wrong but people die people die of all sorts of things people die of the flu people die of pneumonia we don't feel the need to shut everything down we don't feel the need to stop people receiving cancer treatment or heart treatment you know for whatever whatever problems people have got have all been put on the back burner because of covid and I don't think that's right. It seems like a strange way to live. It feels like an overreaction. I've said that before in the previous video. I just feel the government's reaction to COVID is an overreaction. And it seems to me they just want to push on with it and push on with it and push on with it. And I don't know what the agenda is here, but there is an agenda at work. And it's quite scary to think that everything's been, like people's rights are being removed just like that, just because Boris fancies it. I mean, this lockdown is going for a vote in Parliament, but it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that the government will all vote with him and that the opposition, which is not really an opposition at the moment, will vote with him because Keir Starmer has said as much. He said they'll go along with pretty much anything that the government proposes in regards to COVID. Um, to me, that doesn't seem like the way an opposition should behave. The opposition should be there to oppose a question. Um, you know, it's it's not it's not right. It's strange. It's a strange times we're living in. Um, like most people, I'm not happy. <laughs> my I'm a self-employed person, so my business will suffer. Um, like millions of other people, I mean, we're lucky that financially we're fine, but um, lots of other people aren't. So where's this all going? I don't know. I may well be back with another video at some point uh, in the near future once the government comes up with some sort of uh, update on the situation. And we'll have a little chat about things and see what else is in the news. Um, but anyway, thanks very much for listening. I appreciate it. Um, if you like the video, feel free to leave a comment and I'll respond to it and we'll have a little chat. Um, let me know what you think. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.